Q here. Welcome to the channel if you found it. We're going to look at this Pluto retrograding and back into Capricorn as we reassess everything and actually cast judgment on it, seeing if it's worthy of our dreams, of the Ten Cups. And with courage, not the lack of it, we put aside our thinking and transform all those secrets into the stable grounding that moves us forward. So, hmm, let's shuffle up and dive into the energies that are making us reevaluate everything. This is our time to shine, as that's making me stop at the Page of Swords that wants to speak a truth, but kind of terrified to do so. Hmm, the King of Pentacles falls upside down. Someone greedy in your past is the overall energy here. Make sure you're casting that judgment on it and keeping it from, and don't allow them to keep you from growing the right side up version of the King of Pentacles. So let's dive into it. This will be the connection, whatever you're holding in mind, a person, place, thing, couch you've been thinking of, how it's interacting in the 3D, either you or them or it. How it is on the soul level, what's real, and transfers down to the three. Right here will be the side message that the universe wants to tell you about what you're connecting with. And this area will be the potential final outcome. I'll throw some clarifiers on there and sum it up at the end. I call this a Steve format. <laughs> so, um, is this it? This is it. All right. Connection. The Knight of Pentacles. Integrity is shining. And all the messages that have been trying to keep them from moving forward. It's slow energy. Is loosening up as they are evaluating. And maybe asking the same question too. What greed has held them back? In the 3D. Where the Empress energy. The very light of creation itself. Mm, bring light wherever you are. And it's like a beacon for everything else. Mm. Maintain your integrity as those that are drawn to the flame may not have it. Soul energy. The lovers. The sun. That choice that's being made. It's read with the Knight of Pentacles. Mm. Allow all the options to present themselves. And with the light of creation, make a choice in integrity and not in greed. What does the universe want to say with this? Spread with the Knight of Pentacles. Justice. Balance is coming after we reassess everything. The scales are being tipped. And they always tip towards the side of integrity. For integrity shows up on the bottom line. Potential final outcome. Ten Pentacles. Those dreams are being pulled into reality. As long as you hold that light of creation. That divine feminine energy. I like that. Feeling that page of swords was. That healing that comes from quieting the mind. And the ability to transform everything. Cards from the pre-shuffle. So let's put this to the side here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll put the king of greed on top of there. And let's grab our counter deck. It's the king of cups. It's on the bottom. Someone was holding back because they didn't know what they stand for, what they would want to commit for. So commit their reassessment about how they feel and what they're willing to commit to is mm, being drawn to an end. Shit or get off the pot. <laughs> and it inverts that King of Pentacles to its upright form as they grow if they put an end to what's holding them back from their commitments and allow their emotions to flow. Vera there with that healing energy. So let's cut as towers are happening. Anything that wasn't stable and grounding and able to hold up your light will be brought low. So let's shuffle up and clarify this Knight of Pentacles here. <clears throat> clarify this Knight of Pentacles for me there, universe. Justice comes again. It's 
read with the energy of the universe. So I feel like that's correct. The environmental energy is justice because it's calling for balance and it's showing well, what's on the new horizon. Be sure not to overthink it. The Eight of Swords. So, Nine of Pentacles, why are you here? Secrets. Again, maintaining your integrity through it all. It doesn't matter if you knew all the information or not. Everything will come to the surface and reveal what is. And the Eight of Pentacles. You've done the hard work. You've maintained your integrity. Hopefully, whatever you're trying to connect with is doing the same. But their, their need to hold secrets and the hard work that they put into making sure of that is denying them their choice. And denying them the gift of integrity. Interesting. <clears throat> All right. Three of Pentacles drops out. I'm going to put it back there, though. If it pops out again, it will. Empress, light of creation, why you be here? Hmm. <laughs> uh, this is that three card I just did. Eight of Cups jumped out. Somersaulted out. Along with the Eight of Cups. Or the, I'm sorry, the Eight of Cups. And the Ace of Cups there. So, um, those are our clarifiers. They're looking for something real, and they want to walk towards it. So are you. As you hold out your hand, waiting for the scales to be tipped in the right direction. Because the environmental energy there was the Four of Pentacles. That holding and clutching is keeping mm, the ability of miracles to come in. Flip that energy upside down by changing it, the death cards underneath, by saying fuck it and shine your own light, walking away from what it isn't filling and adding that ace of cups or repeating energy from a different deck to maintain your light and your integrity. Hmm. The lovers, energy in the universe, uh, in your soul, 40 and slip, it's going to be read with this as well too. It's transforming everything in the environmental energy. Transforming trepidation, anxiety, worry, and seeing it for what the illusion it is. Mm. Get that curious there, that curiousness. And if no one's brought you that emperor energy, that divine masculine, embrace it in your own self. And complete the tool set. <clears throat> Lovers, why are you here? Change. Change is coming. Your choices might change too if you maintain that light and your integrity. And why is death here? Mm, the clutching and holding on to it. Clutching and holding on to something will limit it and ends up killing the very thing of why you wanted to hold it. So make sure you allow things to fly by and... Mm. Enjoy it while it's there. I like that. Justice. Repeating out there. So, Justice, why are you here? It's going to be right again with that Knight of Pentacles. And... Mm, that hard work that we put in. Energy is coming in quickly. Mercilessly in the environment. Justice... Seeking that childlike thrill in the world, that curiosity, and that king of pentacles in the upright, that ability to grow quickly. So reassessing everything will allow you to grow and maintain your integrity through all at all. That hard work that it takes there to grow. Mm, high priestess shows up for a potential final outcome. Ten pentacles. Environmental energy. This is the Empress. Repeating message. That light of creation will pull in something new and real. And emotionally fulfilling as the nine cups come out. And it's right with the eight. We've got progress there as we move from eight to nine. So maintain temperance and a balance and harmony. And that intuition will allow you to know which side to choose. So if you're in a dark space, he's got you. 
Put out that. The Ten Pentacles there. As I shuffled. And we'll put away that. And sum up this reading here. The three cards. I did it there because, um, the ten minute limit. <laughs> Ace of Wands. A new passion is coming. I like that. When you know what you want to move and walk towards and is fulfilling your own self, it'll allow the space for that extra cup to come in. As passion and real join together, that temperance energy, as I put this deck away. So, summing it up from the bottom will be that Ace of Wands. The Four of Pentacles, that clutching and holding on will keep that passion away from you. And that new expression of love, the Page of Cups, a decision will be need to be made. <clears throat> and those decisions can be made once one assesses everything. Hmm. I was feeling that. The Five of Wands. Make sure that your inner conflict about the past isn't holding you back. And you can move forward with that growth. Yeah. That past energy of the Six Cups. I read that energy right. So there you have it. That's just a quick um, reading of this Pluto and Capricorn energy. It's making us all relook at everything. Make sure you've grown and still shining your light. Hmm. Anything else you want to say about this? I'm inspired to grab this deck. On the bottom of it is liberation. It fell out. And justice. Another repeating message. I like that. So, uh, my intuition was correct. So, anything else that you want to tell my viewer? So I'll shuffle this up. Two of Cups. Mm. That's it there. Sensing a repeating theme. The King of Pentacles. <laughs> is it growing? Or clutching and holding on? Remember the advice of the Four of Pentacles. Just to <clears throat> have the strength and courage to move forward with an open heart. It makes carrying the weight of the world easy. Ten Pentacles. Repeating message again. As Octopops bring in those dreams into reality. And mm, consorting with others. If you maintain your integrity, you'll draw to you those that want to tell you integrous advice. So, consort with others and get a new perspective that you may not have seen. It'll bring balance and justice to the situation as we split to cut. King of Pentacles opens up and becomes a King of Cups, revealing the Queen of Love Cups. Reaching towards that light of creation. And the Knight of Pentacles there for that repeating information. Integrity. Integrity shows up on the bottom line. So there you have it. Take the advice or the energy how it suits. Apply it where it applies. Adult yourself with it. And if you find yourself in a dark space, Q's got you.